My name's Carl and I'm a super keen fisherman. In this series, Carl vs the World, I fish against friends, enemies and professional anglers to find out who catches the most. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my latest multi-species challenge. Hang on, what's the biggest fish supposed to be in this lake? <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's gotta jump out on that. This video sees myself and some good friends targeting a range of large and exciting fish. Catch you in the morning. Our destination, a nature reserve in Belgium, home to six incredible lakes. Carl, I haven't seen you for five months. <laughs> Carl, I haven't seen you for like a couple of days. You're, you're like m me. You, you are Carl's brother now, pretty much. <laughs> My mum did say that. We look similar. You actually do. Yeah. And you got your names are similar. It's Carl, Carl. and Carl, so it sounds good. I actually was wearing his clothes like the other day as well. That's really weird. <laughs> you weren't it. As long as you weren't wearing Omi's clothes, it's all good. <laughs> no. Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Just Alex. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Whoa. Too early for that. <laughs> the drive was fairly short and passed quickly in good company. Destination reached. <laughs> keep the camera steady, Cal. I'm hoping you're enjoying God, it, guys. My new cameraman cannot keep the camera still. <laughs> what is wrong with him? It's not hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two of the, the three vehicles have arrived. We're waiting on Ryan. Now, we've known Ryan for many years and he's normally late or lost. So I reckon he's, um, I reckon he's lost. Whilst waiting for Ryan, we walked around the lakes and looked out for fish. Wow. Where have you been? Take your time. I know, I know. They drove past me. Today we're in Belgium and we are competing. You are competing. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. In a challenge. It's a competition. Oh. Are you taking the mic? I'm not. Oh, for goodness sake. It I is was a... hoping to sleep the I was just like having a nice chilled holiday and now this gets dumped <laughs> on us. Nice one. Go yeah, on then. This is no holiday. This is a multi-species challenge. Now, the, there's lots of lakes here and there's lots of different species. Catfish, sturgeon, carp. Grass carp. Grass carp. Frogs. They don't count, Ryan. Multi-species challenge. Whoever catches all the species is doing good. And if you catch the biggest of that species, then you get a bonus point. You might want to put this on text on the screen because I probably didn't make any sense. <laughs> In summary, each species caught would be awarded one point. If you happen to catch the biggest of that species, you get another one. The scoring is very similar to my old Carl vs Alex series. However, as I beat my brother so many times, he decided to retire from fishing and become the chef and referee of this competition. So this new series is instead called Carl vs The World. For this first episode, the teams would be Kenny, Ryan, and Cal the cameraman versus myself. Oh, it's like a 3v1. Oh, that's, right. well, that's easy then. So, excuse me? <laughs> that's easy then. <laughs> it's what? 3v1? So, do we go now? Uh, Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, we're going. Oh, look at Ace Cave. Oh, he's rapid. He's going to catch a catfish. Look at this. If we catch a fish, we record. Or a leg we, record. Oh, I don't get ahead of yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we go catch some fish? Yes. We all headed off in search of fish with our different plans of how we'd land the biggest and the most. First impressions of these lakes is that they're nice. They're really beautiful. I don't know where to go and where to start. What are you feeling? There's, there's, there's too many lakes and too many options. Just underneath this tree, I have just seen a massive koi. Man, this lake is incredible. I need to fish on this lake later in the trip. Once I've ticked off a carp, I'm going for one of these massive fish on this lake. <sighs> the carp that I'd seen were on the very tricky origin pool. So I found some spots and baited them with pellets and boilies, ready for later in the trip. Over on the easier lake, Ryan was already getting into issues with his reel. <laughs> Runnels through the tutorial. <laughs> How not to set up your reels. <laughs> I also decided to start on the higher stock lake. Meanwhile, Alex and Kenny were prioritising food. 
Me and Kenny are roaming the streets of a Belgian town trying to find some bread. Food just I excites me. Oh, no way, we can start a garden next to the lake. Look at that, we've got a basil plant. Kenny just stopped me from buying a record player, which is good. Rods are out way before we've even got anything sorted. But I don't have to fish and filth. No, I don't have to. No, I do have to fish. I don't have. Ooh. What rig is this one, man? <laughs> this is the triple backflip 360 rollover helicopter chunder in your mum's bedroom rig. <laughs> this rig is the. Really good, really nice. <laughs> the rig. I used, to, I used to use this uh, rig with a uh, hello chicken nugget, uh, but now I use it with a uh, hello tiger nut. Tiger nut hook bait, size four hook, ready tied rig because I'm in a hurry and I'm also very lazy. Let's get the rod out. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. No. What's he done there? He's oh, done a boo boo. I began placing my rods whilst Alex and Kenny were getting to know the local area. Hello. Hello. We're making friends. <laughs> this is my house for the next five days and it's also the kitchen because my job is to make sure everyone is well fed and that's why I've got a Tesco's mega pack of pasta. What are you trying to catch tonight, Penny? A massive catfish, like a big catfish, over a hundred pound. Hundred pound? Yeah, that's my plan. That must be like seven foot long. It is. Really? Yeah. Kenny is serious about this. Like he, he's got this. This is a remote control boat and it's gonna drive underneath an overhanging tree where it's impossible to cast. And he's gonna drop the rig. <laughs> oh no. And that is why you don't have the remote on. No, Kenny. It's fine. Kenny drove his catfish baits out with his remote control boat with a little too much help from Alex. I thought he was supposed to stay impartial as the referee, but I'll forgive him because he was about to start cooking us some lovely dinner. No stealing my tackle, Ryan. Feels kind of weird fishing against you guys. Well, it's not really. Let's well, it is for the purpose of the video. Okay, yeah. I'm not taking it seriously or anything. Alex began preparing his ingredients whilst Ryan explored his half of the lake in the boat and Cal baited up his swim. Nice. Did you see that? The cat was like, yeah. I mean, it was something big. I'm quite happy with that actually. I've, I've decorated it nicely with some fresh parsley. As well as cooking a meal you'd expect to see in a restaurant, Alex also came over to deliver the food to our swim. Any fish? He must have brought some luck as Ryan received a sudden bite. Yay! Yeah! We knew it was that wrong. He's only got an hooked one. Does that one get the net? Well, it's not actually as small as I thought. Oh, it's a grass carp. I've never, well, it's a personal best because I've never caught one. It's got to jump out the net. Nice. Hey. Do you think you could have scooped that up a little bit more <laughs> dramatically, Alex? Just, no, you know, I make couldn't. things look a bit more exciting. <laughs> Exactly. Oh wow, that's a grass It's actually bigger than... Yay! Oh Species number one! Oh, it's got to be wet! 
How big is it, Ryan? 17, 10. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, you look like you did the weighing correctly. I'm, I'm very, I'm a good judge. You know, I'm not very strict. Nice job, Ryan. Yeah. That's really cool. It's beautiful. I haven't right? seen a grass cut for ages. They're weird, aren't they? They are odd, aren't they? They're like mixed between chub and mullet. Yeah. <laughs> and tall. One point for the biggest and one point for the species. Yeah. Nice job. Yay. Nice job, team. Ryan, Cal and Kenny. Cal, Ryan and Kenny. I don't know how to put that in. You have to word. take the first of each letter and make a code. I'm dyslexic, I don't know how to do that. Oh, sorry. Crap. Crap. Team Crap versus Team Carl. Why don't we add another letter to it? Team anyway, English isn't Alex's strong point, but Team Kenny, Ryan and Cal was now in the lead. Mate, for fishing food, this is this fantastic. is this is fantastic. Yeah. We ate our dinner and enjoyed a beautiful, calm evening until one of my rods burst into life. Nuts. It's come out of the reeds. We are in. Oh, that was exciting. Ooh. It's just getting right into the reeds again. <laughs> I got it out of there just now. I really want to see you land it, but then I'm also like, this challenge. You don't want to help. Doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's really strong. To bring the scores even, I've got to land it. <laughs> What if I bump it off? Uh, no. Go on. <laughs> All right, give me that net. <laughs> uh, uh, there's tactics a, there's a going on here. There's naughty <laughs> tactics going on. There we go. That's how you net fish, Ryan. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I'm off the mark with a 19 pounder. I've got weak ounces might be everything, so how many ounces was it? 12. 12. 19 pounds, 12 ounces. Mirror carp. That's a point for catching a mirror, and a point for catching the biggest mirror. Although, it is the only mirror. So, that's a given. Those frogs are so freaking loud. Whilst Alex had to put up with the frog ensemble, Cal and I were serenaded by Ryan's pure musical talent. <laughs> Eventually we got tired and at some point that night we all went to sleep. Required. It was an absolute scream as well, wasn't it? It was a one toner. I was fast asleep. Kenny had hooked a catfish, and should he land it, the scores would be looking very good for Team KRC. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a little bit of pressure off on, on my side because we've, we've had a catfish, but. It's not going to stop me going for one of the bigger residents because it is quite small. It's probably about 20 pounds. I haven't even got it out of the net yet. So we will have a look at that in just a sec. I'd now hooked into a fish too, a powerful one at that, which towed me all around the reeds. Could be bigger than the one that I oh, it's definitely big. had before. We 
you've got a catfish, Alex. You've got a catfish? Yeah, boy. First catfish of the session. Kenny's other rod had a clear indication, so he released the catfish right away. Well, what's going on? <laughs> I've only just woken up. Please be a mirror. No, don't be a mirror, be a common. Yeah, <laughs> boy, that's sounding like some more points. Kenny had hooked something, but it didn't seem to be pulling back like a catfish. Come on. Yeah. Or is it weed? It might be a fish. Oh, no, it's on, it's on. Is it a fish? It's a cop! What? It's a cop! No. No, no. no, come on. No, come on. Well, you're That's not going to win biggest carp for that. But, but it's a species. You've got another species, yeah. Please be 23 or 4. I'm pounds. saying 20.8. I reckon it's going to say 25. 26, 14. What? What? That was zero. I don't, can't remember. It's too early. <laughs> Yeah, it was zero. I think it was zero. Yeah. No, no, no. I, Alex, was, you take it I out. watched him do it. Take it, take it out. That was it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was zero. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely a 26 pounder. Crikey. Well, it's another mirror, but at least it's a bigger one than the last. I've caught a common this morning as well, which is brilliant. I know they're not technically different species, but for the purposes of this competition, commons and mirrors are counting as a point each and I think that means I can go trying to catch sturgeon today but is there even a fish in there <laughs> that's oh. not a carp that's a is that a massive goldfish I think it looks like a goldfish kind of thing and I have no idea what it is it's, um, it's taken the worms that I had out on the surface for the catfish. Because um, I actually I picked up the, the left hand rod to reel it in and there it was. Who are you? It looks like a massive goldfish. Whilst it looked like a brown goldfish, we believe this to be a Prussian carp. Something that we don't actually have in the UK. Off you go, weird creature. After a busy morning, we decided to all move over to the Sturgeon Lake. We're having a, I say, slight break from the competition as we're all doing a social together. The, the owner suggested that this is the, the lake to get bites on during the day. So. That's a sturgeon move. Yeah, I've gone for a big lump of spam with a pop-up underneath it, just so it holds the bait on and gives it some buoyancy and colour. And then, as with all the fishing we're doing on here, we're using pebbles instead of leads because this is a nature reserve and they have a rule where you can't have any yeah lead in the water it's very interesting but yeah that is my sturgeon rig ready to go fishing as a team we shared the boating and baiting and decide we'd also share out the bites should we be lucky enough to get any Living my best life, enjoying a bit of sun in the boat. I think between five of us, we should see a few out. But don't you, you bugger. Oh no, he's got oars. <laughs> <laughs> we have never seen instant karma like that before. <laughs> oh dear. What did you trip over, the banks did? No, I just fell down a hole in the ground. Ryan's got three cameras on him currently. No pressure. <laughs> it's a sturgeon. Sturgeon. Diamond back sturgeon. And He's in. Come on. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He just slapped himself in the face. That is impressive. You don't see one of these every day. <laughs> now Carl's on. I didn't realise that this lake had so many catfish. Uh, catfish? Oh, I'm on another planet. Sturgeon. Competition is hotting up. Oh no, no, I've got nothing. Oh, that's a big oh. fish. Wow. That's not a catfish or a sturgeon. 
Oh, Ryan just got his this phone in. No! Let me how the first reaction is to film. <laughs> Not. Oh, <man>. Got, <laughs> yeah. got it? Well, hopefully it can be recovered. And what are you doing with that camera? Same thing you're doing with that camera. Filming. That's what cameras are for, aren't no, they? They're just looking busy. Well, there we are. My first ever sturgeon. It is kicking off down on the sturgeon lake today. The sturgeon are out in numbers. So Probably cool. look like sharks from the yeah. back, don't they? That was a cool release. What are you making us, Alec? I'm making you some sandwiches. Because I just went to the shop again and got some more food. Gordon Ramsay. Can't beat a good sandwich. <laughs> you anglers need feeding because you're putting in a lot of work <laughs> to catch fish. Ta da! Thank you. Everyone had their turn at catching a sturgeon, apart from me, although I said it was because I was just waiting for a proper one to come along. That was a quick run. I think I dropped the crisps everywhere. <laughs> Oh, literally crisps all on the floor. Oh. Sorry, guys. The best. This, this doesn't count as a species now. <laughs> yeah, we've got to take one point off at least. Half a point. Oh, they're strong. Yeah, yeah. No, this seems like a bigger thing. It seems quite big when it jumped out. Wow. Oh, that's going. Oh. <clears throat> oh. oh, that's a good fish. It's, oh, yeah. it's got white on it. <laughs> Coming in, he's gonna get in the sling. Get in the sling. Oh. This is a sturgeon, of which variety I'm unsure, but it's definitely a sturgeon. <laughs> and it's the biggest one so far. It's actually pretty heavy. It's a heavy 20, fish. 23 dead. Oh, cool. Yeah. Does that mean you're winning, Carl? Well, no. on the sturgeon no. front. The no, he's not winning. Brown, brown oh, you had captured. Oh, yeah. Wow. In the competition, I was trailing by just one point, so decided to cast out a float for Rudd. I did catch one eventually, but it wasn't very impressive compared to the sturgeon that Ryan kept catching. Oh. Oh. Mate, that's so cool. That's got to be a 30 pounder. <laughs> 30 pounds. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Kenny is the best angler in the world. I think I might be. I mean, with that, I think it's just the proof we all needed. Blimey, it's a PB. As well as a larger rud than me, Kenny had also begun fishing for the little sunfish, or pumpkin seed as they're known in England. I now wanted to move down to Kingpool to target the monster catfish. Carl has decided to come onto the catfish lake and mm. fish the catfish with me. No. I'm fishing for crucian carp, like you. Last night, Kenny caught a goldfish. <laughs> I caught something, yeah. Which, to be fair, is another species, so I shouldn't really be taking the mick. <laughs> Pop-ups, liquids, and three juicy hook baits. Pellet, mackerel, boily with a pop-up. In some fish oils, currently. Smooth. This one I'm gonna do at the far end by that tree. I'll bait it up. These scoop balls of manky catfish manga. There you go. Thank you. One more rod to do. You see, Kenny might have a toy boat at his disposal, but I had a plastic hulled catamaran sailing speedboat yacht Thing, which I quite enjoyed rowing around the lake. This is how you bait accurately at long range. The rods are out on the catfish lake and although I was excited for the first night, this is just different level. This is King Pool, similar size to the other lakes, maybe just a little bit bigger and there's catfish in here, I believe, to around 150 pounds. Something of that size would be kind of scary, to be honest. 
Do you have a feeling um, that tonight at the moment, is going to be a good night? Uh, that tonight's going <laughs> to be a good night. That was it. Brilliant. <laughs> Birds. Do you guys have a million frogs chatting in front of you right now? I woke in the morning with no fish to report. I'd failed to catch a catfish. After all, I knew it was going to be a challenge, so I made myself some porridge and thought about a plan for the day. It wasn't just me that had struggled. Ryan and Cal over on the carp lake had blanked too, and they were discussing a move over to the clear lake covered in lily pads. They'd seen some massive carp cruising around, and I think they wanted a change of scenery. This morning, I'm gonna be trying to see if there's perch or pike in these lakes. Just clipped on a small lure. Catfish were difficult, if I'm honest. Uh, Kenny caught a monster, as we kind of expected. And I blanked, as many of the viewers of this channel would have expected. But I'm gonna redeem myself this morning. I cast around for a while, trying all over the fishery. And eventually, whilst in Cal's swim, I finally got a hit. Oh my gosh, that was a good bite. Oh wow, that hit the lure so hard, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a little pike. Hello, Mr. Pike. Whoa, look at it go. Feisty little pike. Yeah, I'm definitely poaching your swim up right now. <laughs> I touched the leader. Now you got, you got to touch the pike. I've touched the pike. I think that might be a species. Knowing that Ryan or Cal could pull out a carp at any moment, and it could easily be bigger than my 26 pound best, I decided to move over to Origin Pool, where I'd baited the spots for the big carp earlier in the trip. Meanwhile, the boys had made their move to Belly Pool and were getting to work casting rods out amongst the lily pads. That was good. What is your tactic to catch a big carp tonight? You pray to the carp gods. Yeah. For a fish. That's my tactic. Yeah. Right, you're going for the spiritual approach. The spiritual approach is needed. I'll, I'll, I'll offer some uh, tribute or sacrifice of some sort. <laughs> yeah. I might do a dance. Yeah, carp dance or carp something. Dance. Carp shower. Carp shower, yeah, mm. definitely. Oh, yeah. Bow, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it seems like everyone, apart from Kenny, is going for a big carp. Ryan and Cal are on Belly Pool, which has got carp up to 44 pounds. Kenny, however, he's just mad about catfish. It's like this is a multi species competition, but. He just wants to catch a bigger catfish. So Team Kenny, Cal and Ryan are probably going to win the catfish point because Kenny had a 66 pounder last night and who knows, he might pull out a bigger one tonight. A couple of hours passed before everyone was reeling their rods back in to come around and visit my swim as I'd landed something very special. Holy shoot, I've never seen a car that big. <laughs> I don't know if I'm strong enough. <laughs> wow. Crikey. I knew this lake had some big carp in it. I wasn't exactly expecting this. That's a nice way to um, finish off my carp fishing at Carpinsula. Just gotta hope that catfish turns up. Because if it does, this will just be a trip of a lifetime. It looks bigger than Carl, you. Oh, that's insane. Well, you, you had a good feeling about that spot over there, didn't you? I, bait, I baited that spot on the first day, second day, third day, and then put the rig in. 
and it went quite quickly. And I'm hoping that it's the biggest fish, well, it's definitely the biggest fish of the trip so far. Oh, oh my goodness, 44 on the dot. Hang on, what's the biggest fish supposed to be in this lake? 44. Are you serious? Yeah. Is that what it says on the website? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna do photos. Oh we've got to do photos when, it, when mm. all of us are in the picture. Yeah, I think it'll be worth it. Oh dear me! Oh, look how wide that is. That's just such a big fish. That's ridiculous. Oh. Woohoo! Just a little reminder that although there isn't a prize for the winner of this multi-species competition, there is a forfeit for the losing team. If it involves eating something rank, count me out. Uh, my, one of my gas canisters just leaked. And whilst I'm boiling the water, <laughs> this one might have caught fire. <laughs> Sorry, can you just confirm your swim is on fire? <laughs> It was. I put it out with some of my water. <laughs> Despite dealing with a broken phone, exploding gas canister and catching no carp, Ryan and Cal stayed positive and flicked their rods back out for the night ahead. Early the next morning, I was casting pop-ups at patches of bubbles, the tactic paying off big time with a new species. I moved on to this lake with the hope that I could catch a grass carp, and I got one. I don't often catch grass carp back in England, so it's a, it's a cool fish to see. Also had a few other bites on this lake as well. Oh, it's so cute. It's gone really, really well. This is supposed to be the hardest lake on the fishery, but surprisingly, it's done me quite a lot of bites. Cool man, thank you so much for coming around. No problem. The grass carp had taken away the point for largest from Ryan's previous capture, making the scores look quite positive for me. They're, they're not biting. I don't know, do you think it's to do with the, the the temperature or I don't I don't know. I'm trying to make up some excuses to why <laughs> I'm blanking so hard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Cal had decided to move lakes to Origin Pool, where I'd landed the grass carp and 40 pound mirror. As this is a species challenge, I thought there's one species in here which none of us have really tried to catch. And that is this little sunfish or panfish variety. Back home we call them uh, pumpkin seed, but I don't see the other guys having caught any of these. So I'm gonna put on a little maggot on the smallest hook that I could find and instead of a rod I've actually got a twig. <laughs> I thought my rods are a little bit you know stiff. This this has got a nice soft action which is actually perfect for catching uh, sunfish. So yeah I've got a maggot on the hook and normally these fish can be quite aggressive feeders so if I twitch the maggot around and jiggle it a bit, they might come and attack. They're definitely showing an interest. Come on, take it. Oh, maybe this is gonna be a little bit harder than I expected. I thought I'd catch one straight away. Come on. This is harder than catching the rud. A lot harder. I always used to say that I'm not really much of a competitive person. Alex was the more sort of competitive guy. But right now I'm crouching next to a lake with a twig, desperately trying to catch a sunfish. <laughs> so potentially I am a little bit competitive. But if I can get one of these out, then I could, could be two points. I don't know if I deserve a point for the biggest sunfish though. Seems a bit, seems a bit excessive. There they are. Come on. Oh! <laughs> 
That's a, a pumpkin seed or a sunfish. Wow, colours on it are actually mad. So I saw Carl earlier trying to catch an extra point with one of these sunfish, the tiny little things, really pretty, using this like little rod and hook. So I've stolen it. Come on, come on. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Come on. Cal was determined to land a new species, whilst Kenny was fishing with Ryan, trying for a larger sturgeon. That's drop back, isn't it? Something on that. He's swimming towards me. <laughs> I'm stressing out. It's definitely a bigger one than the ones I've already had. If it isn't, I'll cry. Fourth of the trip, I'm still trying to beat Carl's 23 pounder. Okay, there we go. My biggest sturgeon of the trip so far. Oh, he's ready. No hesitation, he's gone. Oh, there's loads. Oh my God, there's loads. A bit further. He's gone straight for it. Yes, oh my God, I got one. Yes. I've only gone and done it, look at that. I caught, I've got one. Oh, he's gone, yes. And the rod worked as well. Having landed a pumpkin seed of almost identical size to mine, Cal returned to his carp gear and I lent a hand, getting his rod set perfectly for the last night of our trip. That afternoon, the owner of Carp Insula kindly brought us down some typical Belgian food, so big thanks to him for that. Oh, it feels like Christmas. It, look, it looks like fish and chips. Oh, oh, I've never seen anything like that before. Well, I've seen these. These are these are fries, <laughs> Belgian fries. Mm. Oh, what is oh, that? It's like a kebab with hello, hello chicken, chicken nugget. nugget. <laughs> it's nugget isn't it? it is that the first one's a chicken nugget? Yeah. yeah. Are we going to share any with uh, these guys? Or no, please, please. <laughs> I'm good. I've got my beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being serious for a second. Oh yeah, this Thank looks you great. very much. Happy Thank Christmas, you. Kenny. <laughs> Time to open your present. <laughs> the best present. What is it? <laughs> A dog! <laughs> we had one night left of our trip, and we reflected on how much fun we'd had. The fishing was tricky at times, especially for Ryan and Cal, but being on the bank with friends is always a pleasure. The scores though were still close and just one bite before morning could see the forfeit being completed by me or my friends. I kept focus and that evening packed up my gear to give it one last try on the catfish lake. Alex too was determined, working flat out on his tricky role as cameraman and referee. He's going to have the big mandarin oh. and I'm going to have the big catfish, the normal one. The 150 pounds. The 150. Oh. No, look over the top of yeah, the yeah, yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. Swell. The boys on the carp lake woke up gutted to have not landed a fish. However, just a few hours before light, this crazy battle had unfolded. Oh my god, I forgot what that fish are like. <laughs> oh lord, that is absolutely <laughs> like thing. Walk 
backwards. Move back. Right, not done. That is so strong, bro. If I can land this, it will be the last species that I need. But it's getting towards those snags. Blimey. Just don't fall off now. And I can tick off catfish. Oh Lord, it's huge as well. Walk back. We got him. Yes, that's it. Well, I got a catfish. <laughs> Fifty-six and a half. Woohoo! Oh, not quite as big as your one, though. Catfish! Woohoo! I forgot what an incredible, incredibly strong species of fish this is. That was pulling my arms off. Oh, fifty. What was it? Fifty-six and a half? Something like that. Yeah. Biggest, Mega fish, man. Biggest fish I've caught in ages. Look at that. It's got really cool patterns on it as well. I love how it's a snake away, man. I was fairly certain I'd won, but at this stage in the competition, we'd begun to lose count of what species we'd caught and whose were biggest. Alex, though, was taking notes and was ready to call the final scores. The final scores of the European multi species competition is as follows Carl comes in at a whopping 13 points. And the dream team come in. Only nine. <laughs> Thank you very much. And as I said at the beginning, there is going to be a forfeit. Of course, Ryan decided to leave early. Mm, I wonder yeah, no, why. No, no, no. I wonder why. So, get ready, boys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've often wondered, if used on the same location, which would catch most fish? Artificial lures or actual baits? So I decided to put it to the test. Oh, yep, yep, yep. In this episode of Carl vs the World, I'll be fishing against fellow YouTuber, the Ginger Fisherman, on his local river. We got it, we got it, we got it. This one has to stay on the hook. Today, we are going head to head. I'm going to be fishing with bait, and Chris is going to be on the artificials. Plastic lures, metal yep. lures, basically nothing that's actually edible to fish. No. Nope. <laughs> do you still feel confident? I'm, I'm quietly confident that I might do well today. I've obviously got my small soft plastics for things like chub and perch potentially, and then obviously some slightly bigger baits for pike. Let's see how the day goes. We didn't have many rules, but fishing would finish at 7pm and no fish under 25cm would count towards our total length of fish caught. It was only my second ever visit to this river, but as Chris has known it all his life, the pressure was certainly on him to produce the goods. This is going to be super embarrassing when I don't catch it. <laughs> I will catch this pike. Got it. Fish jump. <laughs> He's already hooked one. All I've done is put a worm on the hook and Chris has hooked into a fish. Brilliant pike, not very big, but got plenty of length to him for this competition. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick him down in the net and rest him and then we'll get a measurement on this fish and see how big he goes. Great start. He's had a 56 centimeter pike and I've made one cast and my worm has fallen off. <laughs> good start, Carl, good start. Today's gonna be my biggest challenge. Out of the Carl versus the world's episode so far, this one's gonna be the hardest, without doubt. I'm gonna throw in a couple of small handfuls of pellet to try and draw the chub and barbel up out of this tree. I've made a couple of casts with the worm, but they weren't very interested. But if I can get them feeding on pellets, I might be able to fish with a feeder or something to try and catch one of the big, big barbel. 
I noticed Chris was on the move. He was off in search of more fish. I have seen a couple down here, but they're not rising. So I'm gonna go out with a little hard bait. It's got a little hard bait with me, only a little tiny thing. And fingers crossed we can come into one of them chub or maybe even a good sized perch to take the bait. Carl's not caught anything yet. Ah, uh, so I'm already in the lead with that jack bike. Give me a moment, Chris. We've only been on the river half an hour. Perch, nice perch. It's a good sized perch on a little hard bait. Glad I changed over. Yes. Just got a fantastic perch, changed over to a little hard bait, a little crank bait. And it's nailed it, it's a really nice fish. Definitely over 25 centimeters, which is the minimum size. Probably about 36 maybe. It's getting measured. Just half a centimeter off what I said. 35 and a half centimetres. All oh, that reminds me, there was another rule, and it's that we aren't counting half centimetres. Sorry, Chris. So, how are things going in this challenge so far? Great. Incredible, in fact. If you're Chris, fishing with lures, life's good right now. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what to do. There's quite a lot of weed coming down. I have to keep picking clumps of weed off of the line each time I cast in. The bait stays in the water maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds before a bit of weed wipes out my line. Um, I'm not sure. I don't have a game plan. To make things worse, my next cast went straight into a tree. Oh, oh it's cold. Ah. Oh, now my trousers are wet. Just had to pull it a bit harder and it would have come out. As I was in the river already, I decided to drop my worms in tight to the reeds where I couldn't actually cast from the bank. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, that's a really nice perch. That's a proper one. Chris has got a fancy unhooking mat with a measuring tape on it, but I've actually just got my builder's measuring tape. That's at the tail, that is 35. That is an amazing perch, and it's absolutely made me a lot, lot happier with this challenge. The only thing I've just noticed though is that there is suddenly a whole load of floating duckweed and clumps of dying weed coming down. I'm not entirely sure why that would happen. And the fishing was difficult enough as it was with the amount of weed coming down before. And now this has suddenly started. It could cause me problems. It could cause both of us problems actually. Chris was also snagging up on the weeds. He just wasn't moaning about it as much as I was. With his super accurate casting, he searched the deeper, slower water where predatory species like to hide. It's a nice tree there that's just dangling down to the water. I'm just going to have a cast out with a pipe bait. Bit of a heavy end of the cast. There we go. Oh, I missed it. I think that was a big perch. <laughs> I'm not joking. I think that was a big perch smashing into my pipe bait. I was beginning to realise what a challenge this was going to be. Yes, I had the advantage of bait, but Chris's knowledge of the river and the quantities of large pike around were stacking the odds in his favour. Oh, he's a bit bigger than I thought, actually. It might have been the big one from up there. Yeah, that's a double figure, that's a double figure pike. He's not interested. Yeah, that's definitely a double. <laughs> it's gonna twitch it. Oh, that was the big one I was telling you about earlier. <clears throat> He's not gonna have it. 
Never mind. Nailak. Oh. A sock. <laughs> Catch of the day. Oh, it's Bruce's do that. Catch of the day. Mm. I found a shoal of chub down by this tree. I'm gonna fish this swim with the float because the fish have been super wary so far and every time I cast in, they're hearing the lead hit the surface and they're spooking off of the splash. So I'm gonna trickle maggots in, lower a float in really quietly and then run it down to where the fish are a little further down the stream. That's the plan anyway. Ooh, that's gotta be 25 cm. Oh, this swim is alive. Yes. I'm feeling a little more at home now, watching a float run down through the swim. I'm a little bit more used to this. Building a swim, loose feeding with maggots is a, is a great way to uh, stop the fish from being so spooky and start them focusing on where they're gonna get their next mouthful of food. And that is a huge roach. <sighs> Look at that. Fish. Much better. Fish. <laughs> we gotta try and remember. 30 cm perch. 26. Yeah, 25 on the nose. Mm -hmm. Only just counts this one. Let's take the big one. 35. That's points on the board, that is. Mm -hmm. So we are currently on 179 centimetres. Yay. Good game, Carl. I'm not sure where, where, where Chris is at. He turned for that. We have a wet net and two wet wellies. There we go, we got it, we got it. There we go. Another countable fish. Ah, beautifully done. Yet another long, thin pike put Chris even further into the lead. I was beginning to wish I'd brought some dead baits so I could target pike too. There we go, there's a perch. Chris is a master of lure fishing and watching his videos always impresses me. That said, it is still fishing and you can't catch them all. We got it, we got it, we got it. That's another pike. Oh, he's just barely hooked, just on the back hook. We got him. If you're wondering what I was up to at this point, then don't bother. Whilst Chris was bagging up, I struggled to even find a fish, let alone catch one. Oh yeah, I can see the, I can see the pike. One of them. Yep, it's like hover finning over the top of it. Oh, got it, we got it. Yep, fish on, fish on. God, he went hard then. I knew you were gonna have it. Classic trick, just let your law sit on the bottom and just twitch it. And it went down and slammed it. Fantastic fish, 73 and a half centimeters. Skinny pikes, it's uh, you know, just coming out of summertime into autumn time. A brilliant fish to catch and it makes up my total number really, really nicely. At this point, I'd never been further behind in one of these challenges. So, Ooh. upon hooking into a big fish on the float, here we go, oh. and then losing it almost instantly, you can probably imagine my frustration. That would have been my biggest fish of the challenge by a long way. As a last attempt before moving areas, I decided to float some bread downstream. That would be so awful. <gasps> yes! Are you kidding? It came all the way up and smashed the bread on the surface. Okay, it might not have me caught up just yet, but that is a really nice fish. Beautiful chub. That'll do me. I don't think it's gonna quite have me catching up, but 
It's not small. 42. 42 centimetre job. Finally. Realistically, I needed a miracle to catch up with Chris. He then suggested we go and fish another part of the river, no doubt because he'd practically caught all the fish in this bit. That's not mine, by the way. <laughs> it's cows. It is mine. He needs it with him because we were staying overnight. I took a short walk along this new spot before meeting Chris and totalling up the current scores. He seemed to think he was winning, I'm not sure why, but boy did he go on about it. Chris headed upstream and I walked down into the town and spotted some dark shapes from the bridge. A piece of floating bread seemed like the perfect approach. Yep, chop, chop, chop. Oh, that's a good fish. No! No! No, 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 no! Are you kidding? Thankfully, I got another chance before the fish spooked. There we go. I've caught one. Oh, finally. 36. I love catching chub on floating bread, but the shoal just refused to feed after that, so I had to explore elsewhere. Just minutes later, I found a barbel in some shallow water. I'm gonna get a chub. Don't wanna catch the chub. All barbel. I missed it. I had the barbel for a second. I need to let go. Oh, I need to get him feeding before I cast in again. I've got a few fish taking pellets now. Nice ones too. Wow, look at them go. See, this is the advantage that bait has. You can just trickle it into a swim and start drawing the fish in, getting them competing. And I've got five or six fish, chub and barbel, coming out from underneath that tree and starting to take a few of these pellets. That's it, we're in such a good spot now. The bait is just under the tip of the tree. Oh, my bread has got the fish just swam over it. There you go. Oh, it's right on a fish. Yep, there's one. That's a fish. That's a good job, man. Wow. That was so cool. That was a bit more slippery than I expected. Come to me, please. Yes. What are we saying, guys? Guesstimates. 50. 50? 45. 47. That is an amazing chub. Things are getting better. I'm catching more and I'm catching bigger. So I'm happy. Ooh. To my surprise, the fish soon began feeding again and the barbel returned, but Chris had found the shoal too. I really would like more than just pike and perch today. I really would like to make it a bit more of a multi-species. Oh, that was a chub just turned away from the top water bait. It wasn't very big. As Chris tried again for the chub, I'd eventually hooked a barbel, a much needed fish if I was to have any chance of winning this challenge. It's fighting so good. No! No! Oh! Really? Is this really happening? I lost probably the biggest chub I've ever hooked down there. I just lost a barbel. Not to be defeated, I tackled up again, but this time with stronger line. 
I was so impressed by the health of this little river. Never before have I seen so many perch, pike, chub and barbel living in such shallow, clean water. I landed a couple more chub before we decided to move again in search of some fresh spots. With time running out, I went all in and decided to target barbel again. I couldn't quite see the bottom, but occasionally a big fish would flank and sunlight would catch on its scales. Well, that's ridiculous. Another 30 centimetre perch. Yep. This swim is on fire. 32. To my surprise, this spot was packed with big perch, boosting my total length. I was sure Chris would also find fish around here though, so it was going to be close. <laughs> that's the barbel! That's the barbel! Yes! Oh, that is indeed the barbel. Look at him go. This one has to stay on the hook. We were almost neck and neck, but if landed, this big barbel could secure me the win. Oh, it's a big one right on the edge. Yep. Oh. Spooked it. God, it turned, didn't it? It was clear that not every fish would properly commit when taking the lure. During this challenge, I'd really observed how lure fishing takes considerable skill to cast accurately, but also put the right action into the lure, making it move convincingly. Got it. We got it that time. Bait, on the other hand, was easier to use and opened up the range of species that I could potentially catch. I think for a beginner fisherman, bait is probably the way to go. And then try lure fishing once you've got the basics nailed down. I am so lucky today to get another chance with a barbel right near the end. I just have to get this one in the net. Go on, get straight in that net. Yes! Well, that's amazing. Things are really hotting up right at the end. I don't think I've got very much time left. This is definitely putting a few centimetres onto my total length, but have we got time for another cast? I'm going to have to check my phone. Bet he has it. With only two minutes left of the challenge, one more small perch could make me the winner. Yep. We got it. <laughs> Lovely little wee jack pike. That 33 centimetre pike was enough to push Chris well into the lead, just as time ran out. All right then, Chris. Good work, man. Cheers. I think the best <laughs> angler on the day uh, took the win. I know this river like the back of my hand. Yes. So if I was fishing baits today, uh, if the margin probably would have been a little bit, <laughs> lot, lot bit larger. <laughs> when I was younger, I thought fishing was all down to luck. Lately, though, I've noticed the same names appearing on the podium in the big fishing matches time and time again. One such name is Matt Godfrey. Winning the under 30s world champs no less than three times, there's no doubt he's one of the best anglers in the world right now. I, on the other hand, hadn't fished a match for about 10 years, and back when I did, I certainly didn't do great. Perhaps there's not so much luck involved as I once thought. Either way, today we were gonna find out, as I'd somehow organized a match against none other than Matt himself. Hello. Hello. I thought you'd be fishing by now. I've been to McDonald's. I needed a poo. I had to go and have a poo. Okay, good. Enough. Come on, Carl. You got to hurry up. He's already got his kit sorted. I'm not even dressed yet. Okay, let's do it. Let's get down the canal. <laughs> Come on. I haven't done much canal fishing. In fact, I've barely done this style of fishing at all. I'm definitely out of my comfort zone. Today we'd be fishing up north on the steak and kidney canal. This match would be broken into two halves with our switching spots and all our tackle at lunchtime. Just like most European matches, the winner would be decided on total weight of fish caught. Gonna mix up a bit of ground bait. I don't know if I've got the right consistency or flavor or type of ground bait, but it'll do. It's ground bait. Oh, look, Matt. Come on, the twisted loop. Who taught you that? No one. You got 
skill. I watched fishing tutorials once. We are plumbing the depths and finding out whereabouts we're going to fish because the thing about places like this, there's lots of different options of where the fish might live. So they might be in the deep bit in the middle. They might be under the boats hiding away. They might be in this big open bit. So I want to have two or three different spots in mind to try. Are you starting? It's not got ground bait in it. You no, can't no, do it. it. It's got nothing in it. I can see it's got ground bait in it. You are a cheat. No, I, I did. It, I, You're talking to me as you cheat. I'm not, I'm not casting it out. I'm putting it down there. You there's was about to cast it out. There's no bait going in before the start. I've clipped up. I'm just. I've got it ready. I'm waiting now. I bet you've probably dipped your plummet in some fish attractant. Or would you just save that for the big matches? Save it for the big matches like this. Alex would never have cheated. Fine. Be that way. Make it personal. Make it about my brother. <laughs> Here we are. Keep net is ready. Some baits, a rod, landing net, which I hope I have to use today. And Matt is just Nearly ready, I think. I'm just getting my bait ready, love. What's the crack? Are, we, are you ready to go? Um, I came over to ask you if you're ready to I'm, go. I'm literally ready now. Right, so we're going in now. Should we just go for it? Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, love. <laughs> good, good luck to you too. Good luck. Are we keeping this friendly? Are we going to talk as if we like each other, yeah? No. This is, this, is, this is not a friendly, this is a war. He's very serious, isn't he? Very serious. Whilst I was kind of joking, I genuinely was taking the fishing quite seriously. I mean, how often do you get a chance to fish against a world champion? Got on the perch. No. Hey. Is this happening already? Is it? Fake your little friend. We're off the mark. We're off the mark, Carl. Well done. Thanks, mate. Good start. Oh my! Yeah! No! <laughs> no! That's not bad. Here we go. I've hooked one. Oh, my heart's racing. I've not been in a match in a long time. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's not often I'm excited to catch a bream, but right now, this is exactly what we need. Ah! <coughs> oh. It flicked slime in my eye. So, I am pole fishing today. I know that Carl's using a rod, but this one, lots of little carbon fibre sections, very, very accurate, and I ain't got a reel to contend with. Oh. Ooh. Oh, flipping doodars. That, that was a good bite. Did you miss it? I had it on for a sec, but lost it straight away. So obviously in match fishing, the winners generally decided on the total weight of fish at the end of the competition. So it doesn't matter if you've got lots and lots of little ones or a few big ones, you know, you could win it with less fish, but bigger ones, or mm, loads and loads of fish, but little ones. However, there's one thing you can't win with, and that sticks. Branching out, boys. Branching out. Is that bite? Go on, he's got one. Oh, what's it gonna? Not gonna win a match with them, mate. Depends how many of them you catch, brother. We're gonna need about 10 million. Judging by Matt's speed and efficiency, 10 million fish didn't seem so impossible. He was hauling. He's got another one. Oh, that's a bit better. That's pulling out some elastic, that is. Oh, hello. Oh no, look at what your cameraman's done. You've set this up. What do you mean? Look, his tripod's in between my landing net. Don't knock the camera in, Matt. You're trying to slow me down, aren't you? 
Well, guess what? It didn't work. Uh, you are sabotaging this. I had nothing to do with the placement of the tripod. That's a nice bream. It's not as big as yours, is it, Can Carl? Hold, hold on to it for a second. It's going to get oh, close. Oh, yeah. It's going to get close up. Hold on to it for a second. Waste a bit more time. No, no, it's for the film. Send the cameraman down, running noisily Stamp. on the path to scare the fish. <laughs> Stamp your feet. Give him a kiss. Lovely. I'm struggling. I had a couple of bites early on, one skimmer bream, one perch, and then nothing. And I don't know what to do. Ooh. I am struggling big time. I think it's time for the secret weapon. Whoa, Carl, what's this? Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, you got one. I oh, he's got a big one. No, that's a big, that's a good fish. What is that? That's a good fish. I think that's a pike. Whoa, I need this pole, I need this pole, I need this pole. <laughs> what is it? I think that's a pike. That's huge, whatever that is. Something big, isn't it? You might have to follow that. <laughs> Maybe a perch has grabbed the bait and a pike's grabbed the perch. I think that's what's happened. Oh, look at the bubbles! Oh, it's definitely a fight. Look at all the bubbles coming up. <laughs> oh, look oh. at him go, look at him go. Oh man, he's got some speed on him. Is it, is it, is it, can you see? Oh, the number of bubbles coming up off of him. Big <gasps> pike! That's a nice pike! See him? Yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe he's not chewed through my line yet. Oh my God, look at that. How lucky was that? Just bit through my line in the net. That's a beauty, Matt. Fat, isn't he? He's been eating lots of roach and bream, I think. What, um, come on, what weight are you giving me for him? He's got to be four or five pounds. Two minutes ago, I was of the opinion that pike should count in matches. But now that the pro was catching them on one pound line and maggots, I wasn't so sure. He's a fat little thing, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Don't you talk about me like that. <laughs> Oh, fair play, Matt. You like that? Yeah. Cal's been trying all winter, haven't you, for a pike like that? <laughs> See, do you reckon if I just take that nice little roach dead bait and just... <laughs> the weight's going up. Is that really stupid? Yes, it was rather silly indeed. But now that Matt was so far ahead, I decided that the pike rod needed to be cast out. Carlos, they're getting bigger. Oh, they are, aren't they? That's a nice one. Oh, Carlos. They're the ones we want, boys and girls. Biggest one yet, I'm saying. Beautiful. I'm going to teach you some northern. You ready? Yeah. Set, now then, mate. Now then, mate. Set, how you doing? How you doing? If I ask you how you doing, you've got to go, I'm all right, mate. What do you eat up north? Pie sandwiches. Oh, hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes. Go on. I felt like I was finally beginning my comeback, getting amongst some decent skimmers. Oh, slab, mate. Matt is still hauling them. His numbers are just creeping up and up and up. And he's had a nice pike. My pike rod's out. I flicked it over there. I've got it down here now, but not a touch. And he catches one on a, on a maggot on one pound line. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Here we, oh, you just. Nobody likes to see that, do they? Hey? And nobody likes to see that, Carl. You think it's time for lunch? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Is it one o'clock? <laughs> well, it's not actually. It's 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah it's one o'clock. One Match o'clock. is um, on pause. It's paused, yeah. So that's the end of the first half? Yeah, yeah. it's lunchtime now. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Yeah. I went quick. One o'clock. 
The first half was over, it was time for some lunch, and then we'd weigh our catches before switching spots and tackle to see if the pro kit meant more fish. In this bag is... Yeah. Oh. Rubicon! Oh. <laughs> Rubicon is my favorite drink in the world. Didn't you do quite well in a match the other day? Yeah. We won the Winter League final on Saturday, our team. So you and the... Nine others, yeah. And then suddenly I come third in a big final. Nice. What, when you say big final, what are you talking? It were 10 grand at winner. Mm. I missed out on winning by one pound. What were you doing? Did you, why didn't you catch one more skimmer? <laughs> I tried my best. How much of your life have you had to commit to match fishing, to, to win the stuff that you've won? Um, I had a lot of it, all of it really, but not in a, not in a forced way. Mm. I've enjoyed doing it. I love it, you can tell probably. But do you have to make any sacrifices? Oh, no. Like, do you have any friends? No. I don't know if that's the ginger hair or the match fishing. You haven't cut the hooks off of your rigs, have you? I've just put a bigger one on so you don't get as many bites. So far, it has been quite tricky for me, to be honest, but I do think that Matt's advanced gear has helped. The pole, the accuracy, the speed of being able to respond to bites and the subtlety of that little float, it's all really, really helped him in that first half. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go with his tackle and seeing how he fares with my kit. So Carl's gone to get his phone and I know he's got a fish meal ground bait and I really don't want to use a fish meal ground bait here. Like my experience on this canal tells me that it doesn't work. And what he's caught this morning tells me that it definitely doesn't work. Turns out I didn't really need to get my phone. I've had no messages. So I'm going to sneak a little bit of my own ground bait and my penguin biscuit um, on his peg so he doesn't know. If we really wanted to sabotage it, we could loosen the front legs on the box and he'd get wet. But that'd be terrible because it's very cold. But I reckon we could maybe loosen the back legs a little bit. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, he's nodded. Yeah, that'd be funny. Oh, wow. Matt, you've been busy. Oh, that's a nice one. You like him? Got to be 20 pound there. Got to be maybe a bit more. Oh, 19. Yeah. 19.4. I reckon you've been tight there. Oh, well, come on. <laughs> what would you? 18 that time. 19.4. <laughs> well done. Thanks, mate. Let's have a look at mine. Where are yours? I've had a couple of nice bream, some good roach. Well, that doesn't look like a good roach. No, it's a quality roach. That looks like a roach that's been frozen, Carl. Um, Bear in mind I haven't caught a roach today and you've got two that are dead. I don't think I've quite got 20 pounds. Yeah, it was more like four. Four? Well, you've done good. You reckon? Let's be honest, the first half has been very one-sided. Mm, yeah, but your turn now is on the pole on the seat box. I'm looking forward to it. Well, there you go, Matt. Your net is back out. Can I change your rig? Oh, you, you you can do anything with the tackle provided. Like inside this tub yeah. is loads of goodies that will help. Have you got any longer hook lengths than the six inch Wait, one? I've got so much, so many different things that you can try. Um, in fact, whilst you're here, sit up. I've got something in here which will sort you right out. Is it a can of Carly? <laughs> no, um, it's actually a book that will really help you with oh. starting fishing. As I know you, I know like, there you go, Bream. Yeah, we've had a few of them. Yeah. Oh, thanks mate. No worries. Salmon. <laughs> None of them in here. Might not find them around here. I thought you were going to take offence to me giving you a simple fishing guidebook. I like it. Oh. Sweet. Well, anyway, who's got the timer? Uh, ready, go. Okay. Don't break that pole. I won't break the pole. I've done this before. He's going to break that pole. Sorry. It's because that leg's wonky. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Why is that leg wonky? What have you been drinking? <laughs> oh, he's had a few. As Matt and the locals laughed at my misfortune, I fixed the dodgy seat box before getting to work becoming a proper match fisherman. So if, if I just leave the pole here, does the boat stop? No, you must move the pole out of the water. Oh, how long can I wait before I, before I, can you imagine if I, oh, no way, no way, no way, fish. Oh. I, I, I think we have an issue. Not quite what I had in mind. Oh, you haven't even got a rod rest. I know, you put it on the keep net. No, on your, you know, how you lay it across your knee on the... I did forget the bank stick. This is gonna drive me mad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure the float kept going under when Matt was doing it. Okay, let's try putting it in the... Oh. I feel like I'm not doing this right. Did you see how well he held the float dead still and did it all so smoothly? That's what I can't do. There were so many fish there, weren't there? I can't believe he's not, I can't believe he's not had a bite. Can you believe you've not had a bite, seriously? Joking aside. No, I don't really understand what's going on. After some more thought, we came to the conclusion that the fish we'd released from our keep nets had swam off and told the others to scarper. I've brought two cameramen out. They've got cameras there, cameras there, camera here, cameras down there. I'm sitting on a box with thousands of pounds worth of equipment around me with 30 different types of bait in the perfect peg, which was plumbed and prepared by the world number one over there and I can't get a bite. It's very frustrating. Cheers, cow. Time to start taking this a little more seriously. What we're gonna do is put more sections on the pole, go all the way to the boat. And then, how'd you do this? No. No. You watch that, it's all gonna pay off in just a moment. First fish wins, we said, this afternoon, didn't we? Oh, oh. Go on the roach. First fish wins. If Matt wins with one microscopic roach in the second half, I will be livid. The float hasn't even bobbed. A fish hasn't farted near my near my rig yet. No. Massive, massive fish. Huge fish. That's two though, isn't it now? Whoa! <laughs> Carlos Santana. More maggots. Still haven't had a bite, but I'm just gonna keep pinging maggots out. I've got to be doing something or else we're gonna go crazy. Got something bigger. That might be a skimmer. Come on. Come on. Oh, skimmer. <laughs> Man, I've never heard someone's voice go that high before. Right, why do bream never fight and then when I really need it, it fights? <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Yeah. That's what we need, boys. We've got about an hour left, so hopefully these are going to come in. Oh, well, hang on. I need to stop feeding and start focusing. Yeah. Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Yes, yes indeed. That is a fish. <laughs> oh, the anticlimax when this one comes into shot. Ta da! I did it. I had a bite on the pole. I landed it. Put up quite the tassel. Tell you what though, that was a bite, wasn't it? It was indeed a bite, but at this rate, I needed a miracle to catch up with Matt. 
Yes. Yes. This is it, this is it. Yes. See, I haven't just caught one fish. Get in the net. Bosh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh no. This is needed. We need this fish. We need this fish. Because Carl started catching. Oh, that's not bad though, is it, Matt? Mate, this is this is massive. It's like a six pound bream. No, it's not. Matt, that is six ounces. As Matt's began catching again, Cal and Tom were scheming once more. Tired, cold, hungry. <laughs> she, yeah, she All right, the match is over, guys. Yeah, match is done. Already? Oi! Yeah. Joking, Rod's Matt! In. I've just had an indication, I That's think. Nice it's an indication to reel in. Good good guys don't cheat. Time to bring the nets in, see who's won the second half, and... Go to the pub for a nice warm pint. <laughs> yeah? Wait, warm? Pint of milkshake, by the way. Well, come on, what are you giving me? Uh, that is a three pound six been fair there, hasn't he? Don't forget, the beast. I tell you what, they weigh well, they do. Pound 12. Well done. I think you might have won. I think today was one of those days where you realise you've got an awful lot to learn. Match fishing might not be for me, but I enjoyed myself and I definitely want to give it another go at some point soon. You're actually... Oh my god. Going in. I've got to catch it, Cal. It's massive. Ah. Ah. Well, I'm back down the river today and I'm going to be fishing an exciting. Oh. Where have you taken me? What do you want? Listen, you will do a collab with us, Carl. Time for that. Carl, we just want to do a video, mate. That's all we want to do. Your brother's not here to save you now, is he? <laughs> Look, Carl, we just want to do a collab, mate. We want a video with you. Hang on a minute. There's snack bros. Tom, Sean. Yeah, that's oh. us, mate, yeah. I wanted to do a video with you for ages. I told you we should have oh, no, him on Instagram. Sorry. I feel like that would have been easier. Yeah. So by some crazy coincidence, I'd been kidnapped by one of my favorite fishing YouTubers. Not wanting to waste the opportunity, we decided to go head to head in a multi-species challenge. For this episode of Carl vs. the World, it would be Team Snag Bro versus me, of course. As usual, we'd be awarding a point for each species and a bonus point for the largest of each fish. This time though, it was serious. I'd already had my safety and well-being put on the line this morning, so we agreed that the loser of this challenge would have to accept the ultimate punishment to delete their YouTube channel. Oh my God. Right then, mate, are you ready to kick some Carl? I'm all ready to go, mate. The wagglers are on, the net's ready, the chairs are there. Okay, Let's sound. Go. Um, have you got the maggots? No. I'm quite excited for this. I've had a rough morning. I'm a bit achy. Mate, you were meant to get the maggots. You were meant to get the maggots. Are you joking me? Bro. Mate, there's no hook bait. Right then, Carl, you uh, ready to start? Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually fishing. I'm just, uh, just checking the depth. Um, I don't do a lot of course fishing, mate, but can you just have a look at this float for me? It's a 6.4, it's a and I was wondering if I should be using a 5.7 instead. Do a lot of Thanks, Carl. Is not on. The boys are definitely taking their time. Are you ready yet? Yes, we're ready. We're waiting for you. Ready when you are? You're having a laugh. Go. Okay. Let's get fishing. A lovely little day relaxing, float fishing. Wouldn't you agree? The action started quickly with bites for both teams. Oh, fish on. Oh, oh. Hey. One mil to snag, bro. That's embarrassing, but it, it, I did just net a one out of the spring. Ours is bigger. Yeah, I'm sure it was. 
So is that 2-1 to Snagbro? Uh, yeah, it is. Thank you yeah. very much. Cheers. What you got, lad? Oh, crucian. <laughs> Some uh, flyweight MK2s over here, isn't it? Three and a half pound, isn't it? Uh, it's more like 10 ounces. It's PB for you, that is, isn't it? These scales are dodgy, aren't they? Decent. You can keep the scales if you want. I'm, pro yeah, I'm, keep them over I'm not really scale. catching anything. Oh, I said that. Green. I bet it's another. <gasps> you know what that is? That's a new species. Maybe the smallest tench I've ever seen in my life, but I don't care because it's a point. Knowing that we'd be fishing rivers for the rest of the challenge, I was keen to tick off as many lake species as possible. <gasps> yes! That's what we want. That's the species we needed. Oh, it's beautiful as well. Oh, hey, look at that. That is my, wait, green tench. Third species. I don't think it's as big as their crucian though. How big was your crucian? 10 ounce. 10 ounce. Oh yeah, okay, this, was it, it was bigger than that one. This is never 10 ounces, it's 10 grams. The next fish I landed had me a little confused. It has barbules. It turned out to be a common carp cross crucian hybrid. Okay, you, you get a point for the hybrid. So Carl's got one more species than us, no, two more species I don't than know. us. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. got an F1, which I have seen, and a tench. Time is running out. I think we've got five minutes left at this first location. I've caught some species, but quite small ones. Sounds like they've got some. What have you got? You all right, stuff? Lovely to catch the tench again. One pound. Two pound. Four deep. Two pound. Oh, better fish. I think we'll need it independently adjudicated. Yeah, little thing there. Does. does see that? Yeah, yeah. That is a barbule. Yeah, because if it was a common carp, it would have normal sized barbules. Okay. If it was a crucian, it would have no barbules. Right. And this has got these tiny little bar I'm sure it's some kind of hybrid. And it's bigger than my one. Yeah, well done, Sean. <laughs> no, you don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> At this stage, I had four points, but Tom and Sean were on eight. We're in the van on the way to spot number two. It's absolutely boiling. I don't have air conditioning. So the windows are coming down to get some fresh air. Oh, that's good. That's real nice. We're doing all right so doing far. good, man. We're winning, I think. I think we are winning. Yeah, we are. Like, we're doing really decent, which is a, a surprise for us, because normally we struggle in all kinds of fishing. Speeding ahead in my trusty Nissan NV200, I left Team Snagbro in the dust and got to the next spot before them. I don't really know what to expect from this spot. Some guy in the tackle shop told me it was good the other day though. We will see. So just en route now to the second river where we're going to be doing the night. Um, oh Jesus Sean, what are you doing? Look at that naughty bit of water down there, look. Oh. No, you can't get down there, can you? Yeah, well... Where are we going to put the van? Over there. There. We are now fishing a small river and... I don't know, kind of expecting small perch, chub, might live around here. Don't know where Tom and Sean have got to. We said we'd meet in that little lay-by and they aren't anywhere to be seen. How do we get down? How do you get down? There's gotta be something in there. There's gotta be, hasn't there? Oh, I see, I see a chub by them lilies. See him? No, but carry on. As Tom tried for a sneaky chub, I was drop shotting worms in hope of perch. Big perch. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> That's a nice one that is. <laughs> wow. Yes, 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 yes. Looks out. What do you reckon? Oh, it's definitely over a pound. A pound? One pound five. One eight. Look at that. What a cracker. Drop shot worm. I don't think that Tom or Sean are going to catch one this big. They'd be lucky if they do, I think. 
Woohoo! Well done, mate! Oh! Push on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's a patch! Okay, Tom! Come over! Yes! I'm that was it! <laughs> it paid off! The little pull paid off! I mean, I did get whiplash in the van, but. Uh, uh, yeah, so I was about that. Awesome! Wicked! Let's right, get him back! We did see a chub, but we didn't manage to catch it. But a perch is good enough for me. I feel like that's a good result. So man. I think we need to sneakily get back. I bet they'll be, I bet Carl will be texting me saying, where are you? We'll have a little perch up our sleeves. Yes. Won't we? Yes. So he might, you know, that could be the, that could be the game changer, couldn't it? Could be. Right, let's find this river spot now. Here's Carl's van, but I don't see no Carl. So hopefully he hasn't caught any, uh, any where fish. Is <laughs> Carl. I don't know where the guys have actually gone. I should be keeping an eye on that lay-by to see if they actually turn up, but I have a suspicion they might have gone to the shops to get food or something. Oh no, here we go. You are right? How you doing? Yeah, 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 we took a wrong turn, mate. Sorry, we got a bit lost. Yeah, so this is the potential uh, floaty floaty. Wow, it turns out it's quite good for drop shotting as well. Okay, why? I just caught a perch that was one pound eight. Oh, we caught a perch as well. <laughs> so, uh, wait, hang on. You caught a perch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you where? Just in some little hole. We just drove past some like... I went abseiling. Like this, but it was much worse. Like there was hardly anywhere to catch. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, feel free to give it a go. But I mean, I think I might have fished it out. Okay. I might have caught them all. Well, I think we could maybe, I reckon a maggot, you know. Yeah. I reckon so. They caught, yeah. a, they caught a perch. <laughs> I'm never getting down that bit. I might be able to get over here. What's going on over there? I'm trying to get underneath the bridge. This is going to end bad, isn't it? I mean... It's very high. Look at him. Shimmying across. Lara Croft. Carl's in. I caught the bigger perch up there. Yeah, caught the bigger perch up there and then he's walking in the opposite direction, you see that? <laughs> so this is where Carl caught his perch? Yeah, I reckon I can get a roach here. Yes, Carl, get your roach skills on the go, man. Yeah. These maggots have been cooked. I've got my maggots between my legs and my float rod and there's a mad echo going on down here. Well, that was quick. <laughs> oh, that's a new species. So it is. Probably won't weigh that one. Yeah, that's a roach, but it's small. I'm after a roach. Is it? Yeah. Just now? Just now. Oh, you're joking. How big? Tiny. Tiny. Little finger. Well, well, well. Landing a chub brought the scores much more even. Things were looking close. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, even a bigger one. <laughs> hey. Is that bigger than Carl's? Uh, yeah, I'd probably say so. Yeah. That was a yes, it was bigger than Carl's. Yeah. Surely there's got to be a little pike in here. Oh, oh. oh, that's got to be a pipe or a big perch. Oh. Yeah, 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 I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Oh, oh it's a perch. Oh, no. that's a pee pee. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. That's a pee pee perch. Is it? For me, yeah? It's got to be. I'm not happy. That thing was rubbish. I'll get you guys weighing it in a sec. I just want to see if Carl falls. So we've got to beat one pound eight for this to be a Uka If pet. this is a two pound perch, I will be shocked to be. Get him in the cover. Come on. It's not a oh, one pound. What are you talking about? 
Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a one pound three perch. Oh, put it back. Just <laughs> <laughs> throw the yeah. back in. It's been a beauty though. Oh yeah, nice looking perch. In the excitement, we'd lost track of how many points we'd got, so decided to total things up. Biggest left one, two, and a perch. So that's nine. So what have you caught? Um, so the <laughs> biggest have. roach and the biggest perch. Yeah. Four. Four. The biggest chub. So well, far. It was about that big, but it is the six. biggest chub so far. So that's six. six. I caught eight inch. One. I caught a Crucian. Eight. I and an F1. I caught an F1. Nine. And I caught a ring. Ten. Ten. What you what were you on again? Nine. nine. Oh! Ten nine. It's close. It's, it's all really it's all close. on the evening, isn't it? Yeah, man. How good are you at river carp fishing? Uh, well, in all my years, actually, I've actually wrote a couple of books on uh, the river carp. So I've never done it before. <laughs> 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 On the way back to the van, something caught my eye. Get the rock. Look at him, look. He's gone into stinger mode. You're actually He's going in. Oh my <laughs> god. He's going in. I've got to catch it, Cal. It's massive. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where's oh, no. Cal gone? No, Cal, this is bad. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. Let me help you. Let me help you. Can you help, I'll film. Oh, my legs have crumpled under Yeah, Carl, hold this bread and I'll... Uh... <laughs> you wait. Puff. Oh, oh, he's got it! <laughs> oh, have I spooked it? I think it's still there. I've been stung on my face. <laughs> Looks as if the fish is still there. <laughs> got that rod. <laughs> That's one fall over. <laughs> oh, it's right on it, beneath it. My heart is racing so fast. I hope, I hope all of that effort will be oh, made it just on it. worthwhile. Oh, I'm stung to pieces. I've been stung so many times. I, I hurt, my whole body hurts. Oh, he's coming back. <gasps> oh. He's coming back. He's coming back, he's coming back. He's, oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh! oh my God. <laughs> Oh, mate. Wow, look at the size of that chub. <laughs> I can't believe that. That is, oh, wow. That chub is stuck. Oh. It can't swim out. But, but, th th but these fish are trapped in this little oh, pond. Right, okay. oh. There's no water flowing in under the bridge. It's dry, bone dry, and it's bone dry there as well. I will get myself a proper sling one day. I reckon it's £2.14. Oh. £3 on the nose. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. A definite case of effort equals reward. I think I'm going to put this fish back in the actual river because that looks like it's about to dry up. It's completely landlocked. So this fish will be very happy to get back in the oxygenated water. Well done. We were a little audience over here peeking over. I was quite happy watching from a beer island. Carl Bear grills it down there. He got his toes out on the other side for the roach. And then he's abseiling down there. Right, sweet. See you at the next spot. We've taken the lead. Just a little carp now. Oh, river carp. A big carp. Big river carp would be the one. Now I think we've got quite a long walk. My first time barrowing, guys. Do I look like a carp angler? Yeah. Do I? Yeah. Be, be honest. No, you do. You really do. Oh, I'm not in green, though. A bit more camo and you'd be perfect. You know, my brother chose the spots for this video. He chose, like, the locations. Did he? Yeah, so it came from a sort of more independent source rather than me just choosing them all, so. But doesn't your brother know how to choose better spots than you? <laughs> he knows how to choose spots that are 
very long walks from the car park. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, it's got a mushroom. It's only a mushroom. It's only a mushroom, Alex. Don't worry about it. The mile-long trek in the heat of the day seemed to take its toll on poor Tom. Now I've got to go back and get my kit. Aren't you going to help with the rest of the stuff? No, without me, guys. It's too hot. I'll look after the gear. Is Tom not going to help getting the rest of the kit? Tom's done by the look of it. Tom is done. He's more helpful lying down on the floor back there than he is carrying a barra, trust me. You right there, Tom? I'm all good. We are finally down on the river, ready to get some rods out. First thing that happened when I arrived in the swim was I spotted a cart, which was a great sign. It was just cruising along underneath the surface and just quickly grabbed the stalking rod and had an opportunity. Oh, he dropped down to it. Out of his mouth. Frustratingly though, it took the bait, the line twitched a little, but I struck straight out of it and the fish spooked and sort of drifted off. So now it's time to get the rods set up for the bottom fishing. I've baited up with a few handfuls of crushed up boilies and I've set up two rods for the river carp tonight. Both of them on quite large baits, double 15 mil boilie and a 20 mil with a pop up on top of it. I've tackled up with really strong gear. It's only a small river, full of lily pads and snags, and the carp aren't massive, but boy do they fight. Anyone who's ever hooked a river carp will know they pull your arm off. So I've got 20 pound main line. I think this is 50 pound armor cord snag leader. And uh, yeah, big strong hooks. You don't want that letting you down when you finally hook one. I've baited up my spot. And I'm gonna go head down for the evening to see Tom and Sean. If just 1% of Fish With Carl's audience subscribes to Snagbro, then children in Dudley will have happier lives. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, please subscribe. Thanks. Right, we've, uh, we've, been, uh, we've been out. We haven't stopped. Stopped what? <laughs> Sitting down. <laughs> we've been waiting for you to sell us how to catch this rim car. Yeah, well, I've brought some goodies. I've got I've got some hook baits, some rigs, some boilies around here, and I've also got a watermelon. Have you? Uh, how are you going to break that? Open? I'm just going to crack it around your head. <laughs> the scores were pretty much neck and neck, and whilst I was happy to help the boys, it would probably be a carp which decided the winner. So, I'm, how much should I bait? A couple, a couple yeah. of decent handfuls, maybe maybe three. Yeah. Right, I better put these in sport mode, just in case I get a run. Sport mode, activated. <laughs> After a hectic day's fishing, a barbecue and some chill time was exactly what we needed. Although I'd only met Tom and Sean for the first time that morning, I felt like I'd made a couple of great friends, even if they had kidnapped me. Sauce for you. <laughs> Never. Well, I was halfway through cooking a dinner and this bream's disturbed us. Absolute slab that is. That's a PB bream for me, definitely. What a chunk. Mate, that's banging. Oh, that was nice. Mmm. That was good. Bedtime, the rods are in, belly's full. It's time for bed. Good morning, everybody. I'm a little bit gutted. I was so, so hopeful that we were gonna get woken up in the hours of darkness by a big, beautiful river carp but that's just not the case. I had, however, landed a few bream, although none the size of Sean's one. Oh no, it's a cop! It's a cop! Oh my God! It's a cop! Is it? Yes, it's a cop! 
come on, stay out of there. Why oh, it's pulling me off my feet. It's morning time. It's just getting light and I thought it was game over. I thought that was it. We weren't gonna get we weren't gonna get the cart. I don't know what's happening downstream. I don't know if they've actually landed one or not. We were literally saying I know that's we don't think it's gonna happen. Oh I'm really snagged. We there you go. <laughs> Woo! Right, that line's out the way. We can focus on netting this fish. Oh yes! Oh that feels so good! Isn't it so amazing when you just think nah it's not gonna happen? Might as well just go home and then the bite! <laughs> I think we got it on the GoPro. <laughs> oh no, it's a cop! It's a cop! Oh beep, 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 beep. We like bream. Love a bream yeah. and just wallop. It was a pretty close challenge though. Yeah. It was pretty close. There was only a point in it. Or so you thought. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Let's Where is it? Kill it. <laughs> oh, smash! It's we really didn't think it was gonna happen. <laughs> it's been a wicked few days fishing with you guys. It's been brilliant, Carl, and you've shown us how it's done on the river carp. Mate. And the chub, and the perch. All right, all right, uh, all right, And the roach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. I've won the challenge. How about deleting that YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, 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 you're in, you're in, you're in. Oh, oh I just changed the camera. No, you're in. Am I? Yes, oh, you're in. Oh, oh, get it. Oh, that is so heavy. In today's video, my cameraman challenges me to a competition. Who can land the most fish from my favorite river? We've arrived at the spot. We're gonna fish underneath this bridge today. We're gonna to be trolls and try and catch a barbel or a chub on the feeder. With the river looking low and clear due to a lack of rain, I wasn't particularly confident of catching. What do you think of the conditions, Cal? It's actually quite lovely. I might take the jacket off in a minute. I was going to say, you must be warm. Quite warm. I've got two jackets on. Yeah. Are you ready to get smashed up? Um, no. The sun was shining and we began setting up our kit. One slight issue was getting our rod rests into the rocky ground. Yeah, just don't put your rod down really strongly and it'll be fine. Don't get any bites from big fish. Oh, I don't know about that. The bank sticks are working. Oh, they are working. Yeah. Just... My piles of stones. Oh, no, they are pretty sturdy, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, you've done a good job there. Yeah, thank Maybe you. Maybe you're in the wrong trade. I should be building yeah, things. Brick layer. Yes. Stone layer. Stone dry, layer. dry stone waller. <laughs> oh, I won't go as far as wall. <laughs> Carl has just destroyed our swim, making his massive fort out of bank sticks and rocks. So I thought I'd probably put some bait in to make sure the fish are still here. We're almost ready to go. Yeah. Although I'm not gonna use this because apparently pellet was really bad the last time we came down yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, spam did more by Well, no, 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 I, I'd say you should start on pellet. Oh, no, 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 I think I'll you should start on pellet. I'll start on uh, spam. Uh, no, 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 uh, I've got the spam to my left. Uh, I'll give you the pellets wherever they are. I think you've already got them, haven't you? We made our first casts, aiming to land our baits in some slightly deeper water, close to the bridge stanchion. Yeah. That, that, that could be a barber. Ah! Don't fall off. Whoa, I could have got the match off to it. I'm taking it a bit seriously. Yeah, I thought it was, um, it was just a light-hearted it's, thing. It's a friendly. I could have got the challenge off to a good start. 
it's feeling strong and heavy. Stop! Oh, <laughs> oh you're in. Oh, 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 you're in. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. it it's on, yeah? Yeah, it's on. Bubble! Bubble <laughs> on, boys. One and two. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's insane. Now, does my fish count as the first one of the day <laughs> or the second? <laughs> Good work, Cal. That was wicked. Nice job. That was really cool. And we thought we'd be lucky if we catch one or two. Yeah, we did. Well, we've got one or two. I'm going to get some bait in because the last thing you want to do is have the fish lose interest in this area and potentially spook off and swim downstream. I think two pouchfuls of pellet just a little bit upstream of where we were casting down there. And a little bit of hemp as well. Brilliant. Now we can have a look at the fish. Now don't get them muddled up, Cal. I don't I, think I can. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I've caught one and so have you, but technically the scores don't feel even. A little bit bigger. Yeah, just slightly, <laughs> just slightly bigger. But what a cool brace. Yeah, wicked start to the day. It's mad to think there's barbel that are probably like five times bigger than this <laughs> lurking around out there. Uh, it's gonna happen, maybe. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Oh, barbel, barbel. No way. Oh no, maybe chub. No. Barbel. Barbel. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. I've only just cast that back out. Cal hasn't even got his rod back out in the water. Goodness me. This is going to make it 2 1. Yes! Well, Cal, how do you feel? It's 2-1. To be honest, you probably would have caught another one if you'd actually cast out, <laughs> but instead you're filming, which is good. I encourage that. It's bigger than my one again, I think. I've certainly been enjoying my natural venue fishing lately, I think early in the spring and the summer, I am often very focused on carp, trying to catch bigger and better specimens from challenging waters. And I do enjoy, I really enjoy in fact, filming like those big carp campaigns. But by the time autumn and early winter come along, I am maybe a little bit carped out. And all I can think about is getting onto flowing water and fishing for species like dace, perch, chub, and barbel like we're going for today. Two or three days ago I was actually float fishing on the River Severn, a river that I probably visit once every couple of years, but I had an absolutely spectacular float fishing session up there. Here is my float fishing swim for the day. My bait, access school, landing net, keep net, which has got a chub in it. Oh yeah. This is holding deep at the moment. Most people normally catch barbel fishing on the quiver tip, fishing ledger or feeder tactics. But if you can get a good swim for float fishing, which has got decent numbers of barbel in, there is nothing better than hooking into those hard fighting fish, uh, watching the float dip under and then playing them in on, you know, light float fishing tackle. I've got a camera filming your rod tip currently. So I'm hopeful. Oh, wrong tip. Barbel, <laughs> barbel. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. That's getting towards the snags. Oh, that is so heavy.
Oh, mate, this is amazing. That is a beauty. Barbel number three. Initially, I was concerned about the low water level, but the river seemed so alive and bursting with life. I'm bored of B-roll now. Can we start fishing? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm the boss. Sometimes you've just got to get all the shots you need. Uh, if I don't spend this time getting all the cut-ins, getting the scenery stuff, then I don't get a video out of it. So whilst I just want to get cast back in and start fishing again, this is, uh, this is quite important. Whilst I was right to say that working hard is important, catching fish is a whole lot more fun. So we wrapped up our extra footage and got cast back out. Cal had a bite straight away, bringing the score to 3-2. Second fish. We're catching up, Carl. Do you hear the echo? Catching up, Carl. <laughs> Whose rod is gonna go next? I'm actually feeling yours. That spot down there, that barbel took it straight away pretty much. Yeah, literally instantly. How long was it in? Like I say, two minutes or something. Not even that. Got snagged. He got it out. But thankfully got it out. Yeah. And often when you catch a few barbel from a spot, they will back off. They all sort of move downstream away from, away from where they're getting caught. Oh. Ooh. 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 How are we catching barbel making this much noise? <laughs> I know, it's supposed to be stealthy and we're not being stealthy right now. It's working. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're in, you're in, you're in! Oh, 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 I just changed the camera because no, you're in. Am I? Yes, oh. you're in, Cal, Cal, get it. Unless that's your, you on my line. No, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I'm... I am in. Wow, this one's really going. What the hell? Another breeze? What is Another going on? All right, let me come under you and I'll grab the net for you. <laughs> oh, my This is day. insane. What is going on? This is like Barbel Land. <laughs> Wonderful barbell lad. Carl and Cal in barbell land. <laughs> I like barbell land. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I love it. I'm I... liking how it's the, the points though, because uh, you'd definitely been in, be winning on weight if that was the case. Yeah, my ones have been a little bit bigger maybe. In it goes, that's a nice barbell. Well, both of these fish are one point each. There's certainly a little bit of a difference in size, don't you think? Um, <laughs> maybe. Maybe we should have done this challenge in total weight of fish caught. Yeah, I would be losing quite hard <laughs> if that was the case. Bye, baby. There's my bait, fishing with tiny cubes of spam and quite small hooks. A mistake that I used to make with my barbel fishing was fish with really big hooks, because I was like, oh, barbel is strong, I'll use a big hook, but I used to uh, not get very many bites, because they're quite, well, they, they're little whiskers, I think, when they're grubbing around on the bottom. They, they feel when something's not right, so a small hook just seems to get more bites. There was a slight lull in the action through the middle of the day, which is quite common to be honest. We felt blessed to be out in the sunshine, fishing a beautiful river, catching healthy, powerful barbel. Oi! Crikey. Oh, that's in a snag. I can feel it. You found the snag I found. Oh, wow. Goodness me, they pull a bit, don't they? Don't get stuck. I don't want it to get snagged. Oh, it's really running. Oh, I've got the rod up high. Four three. So this is now five three. Five three. No, you had the baby one. Oh, that was your third. Yeah. Um, five three, five six, seven barbel already. Okay, maths isn't my strong point, but it seemed that catching bigger barbel than Cal probably was. 
Oh, he's pretty. Every time I catch chub, I'm like, chub are my favorite fish. Then I go perch fish, and I'm like, no, perch my favorite fish. Then I catch barb, and I'm like, you are my favorite. <laughs> the day was going well for me. Cal, on the other hand, he had some catching up to do. Oh, what a cast. Oh, they call me top caster Callan. Have you got lunch with you? I do. Have you got mine as well? I've got both here. Gimme, gimme. What do you want first? Um, I love my sandwich. Sandwich? Oh, what? The sandwich that I introduced you to? Well, no, I was, it was, it was forced upon me. <laughs> Basically, I like safety. I like security. I like things that I'm used to, things that I'm comfortable with. And, and in my life, the only type of sandwich I'd ever, I'd ever bought was BLT, bacon, yeah. lettuce and tomato. And they didn't have any. So I almost was just like, well, I won't have lunch. <laughs> you literally was like, I, I don't know what to do. But Cal said, come on now, you just got to choose another one. So I did. And this is chicken and spicy sausage and red pepper sauce. Rod, well, do you want to know what mine is? Not really. Oh, OK. Cool. Well, I got <laughs> uh, Smoky barbecue chicken. If you said, <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a BLT in the last one. I would be so mad. <laughs> Imagine. It doesn't look that appealing. Mm. Wow, that's dreadful. How much did you pay for that? Um, for one weak looking piece of cheese? Uh, you paid. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Expenses. Yeah. Well, if you do get hungry after that, we've got maggots. Ooh. And we've also got um, um, a fish. A fish. Just finished the. Just finished eating, mate. I've got. You've got to eat, haven't you? <laughs> it's you the coolest. You can't eat if you come in. You can't live if you don't eat. <laughs> that is the coolest <laughs> ever take. Just, <laughs> ever. Let me just finish my ch chorizo just... and chicken <laughs> with pepper sauce sandwich. Don't worry, mate. I'll net it for you. <laughs> don't even get up. Mate, that swan's trying to knock my tripod over. Don't you worry, you just stay there. Don't exert your energy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a good one? It's like fighting quite a bit. It'll do. It'll do. <laughs> it's a barbel. Another one. Another one. DJ you're, Khaled. You're... <laughs> DJ Barbel. Oh, wow. Nice one. Bang. As well as Cal being very helpful to have around for netting my fish and helping film the videos, he has also helped me be much more adventurous. It was my birthday yesterday and he said, on your birthday, you can't just work and shoot a video and then just go to your hotel and sleep. No. Let's go and play pool. So I, you know, showed him how to play pool and... Uh, not sure that actually happened. Well... What was the score? Okay, the yeah, you won three games and I won one. The fishing's been really good. I tried uh, two baits, both pellet and spam, but the meat has been by far the best. It's done pretty much all the bites. However... There's none left. Uh, I think I've got a tin in the van though, so I'm gonna head back to the van and get some more. Oh, I don't need to bring that with me. Spam, 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 spam. Spam, spam a lamb. Spam a lamb, a ramadan. Spam a lamb, not during ramadan. Whilst I contemplated my love of spam, Cal had a sneaky little trick up his sleeve. So Cal's literally just gone to the van to go get some more spam, but what he doesn't know, he's got, I've got a couple of cubes left. My plan is cast his rod out, so I'm fishing with two, twice the luck. I need it at the moment, because he's winning. Yeah, we're in. Definitely feels like 
bit of a better one from the ones I've had previously as well. Yes, yes, we're catching up. Look at that. That is a much better barbel than what I've had previously. And it's another point. Woo! <laughs> That's absolutely drenched me. <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 oh! Doesn't feel massive at all, or it's coming straight towards me. Might be a chub. First chub. Nice. I'm gonna get the rod out straight away and get him back. Soaked again. <laughs> I gotta be quick. Carl must be coming back soon. I'll catch it up, the 6.5. Even one of those chub will do. Get it straight back to the same spot and hopefully get drawing with him. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. <laughs> this session is ridiculous. And if I land this fish, it's neck and neck. Right, and you get to draw with Carl. And it's in there. Yes! Yes! Oh damn, it's spam. Spam land. Stop spamming me. Don't spam me anymore. Well, I finally got the spam. I'm sure there's a few more bites to be had on it before the end of the day. That is the 11th barbel of the day and I have one chub and I've caught up to Carl. I want to get the rod back in and try and beat him. Oi! <laughs> what? How come your rod is out and the there's... out there, I've just... Hey! And... I've got you the spam. <laughs> What's this? That's my no, rod. No, 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 this isn't... I mean, it is a barbel <laughs> and I might have had a couple more. And it might have been on my... <laughs> Set up. You've been fishing two rods while they're gone. No, no, no. no I just, I've only just cast it out. So you've caught up by one. Uh, it's six or. But <laughs> well, you've had three. <laughs> this is the third one. I've had two barbel yeah. and one chub. Well, I was only gone for about twenty-five minutes. I had to go to the had to go to the shop because I realised I didn't have any spam actually in my van. Fair play. Good angling. I can't argue with that. If it's cheating or not, but. It's good angling. Okay, I will take it. So six all through a little bit of sneaky fishing. It's tactics, tactical play. Mmm. <laughs> Left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. This. Can I still fish with your rod, mate? No, you you, you can't actually, Cal. That's that's not that's not okay. The day was slipping away, and with the scores level, we decided it was next fish wins, or golden goal, or golden fish or whatever term works best i'm not sure oh i might go for a recast I I, can't, I'm, I'm i'm starting to feel the same like i haven't had a bite for quite a while and i'm thinking maybe my bait's gone i'm gonna have a timer in my head i'm not gonna tell you the timer okay 15 14 13. how did you know it was 15. <laughs> it wasn't it was 15. <laughs> Oh no, it's not 15. I didn't have a bait on, Cal. I had no bait on that whole time. I bet you had no bait on as well. Ah! I had no bait on either. <laughs> no! <laughs> We attached our final lumps of spam to the hair rigs and made what was likely to be our last casts. Just one fish of any size would take the win. That's not a job. Come on, come off, come off, come off, come off. If come I off, lose come off, come it off, now, come off, come off. if this fish falls off, I, I might cry. This has been a challenge in 
working out whether or not we should swap jobs and uh, rename the channel Fish with Cal. <laughs> I don't know, we'd only have to change one letter. Yeah, but be easy. thankfully, I haven't done too badly. And cameraman Cal has hopefully got some good footage today, do you think? Yeah, I reckon so. Good. I think we've got some great footage. Oh, that's running. Got to get it in the net to win the most serious competition <laughs> of my life. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's definitely the biggest one of the day. Awesome. Wow, look at, woohoo. Nice. Barbel fishing is way too fun. This has been an amazing session. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video coming soon. Of all the places in the world that we could go fishing, it's the village pond. <laughs> Historically, most villages in England would have had a pond. Some have since dried up, others have been filled in for housing, but a few remain and today we would be targeting their colourful residents. Oh, yes. what's that? Yes, yes, yes. That's actually not bad. <gasps> I haven't been fishing with Omi since probably a month or two ago when we went to France. That trip was actually way better than I was expecting. As our last session resulted in multiple big carp. Mine is a PB as well. This trip would have a lot to live up to. Omi's on a mission. But would this tiny muddy pond produce the goods? We were about to find out. First person to catch a brown goldfish, an orange goldfish, a common carp, and a mirror carp. Because then you complete the set of everything that lives in here. Or rather, everything we think lives in here. With public ponds like this, most of the fish arrived by people releasing their unwanted pets. So there's often surprises lurking. your bread allowance for the whole day. Yeah? Yeah. Just saw a white goldfish. That wasn't even part of the challenge. So, a suit, so if you get something, can that be a bonus? Uh, yeah, that will give you an extra point. The challenge is going to be picking out and actually getting the different coloured ones. Yeah. Because it seems like there's lots of brown ones, right? Oh, oh. completely missed it. See, there's a lot of people who watch my videos that will probably see this and be like, what is he doing? That's not fishing. But in my opinion, it, everything is fishing. Even the guy who goes out and doesn't put a bait on his hook and just sits there just because he wants to relax. That guy's fishing too. Definitely seeing more fish in your direction, so. Sneaking my float over there. It's nothing. <gasps> oh la la. Oh, yes, 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 oh. yes. Whoa, Omi. That's actually not bad. That's probably, <gasps> no. No way. No. I don't even think that's a goldfish. That's a carp. It's a carp. It's a baby carp. Okay, well, ah! you're, you're banned. Fish number one. And it's a carp. It's a carp. Common. We didn't know if there was any left in here, did we? Yeah. Beautiful. Well, whilst Omi sorts out a change of bait, I'm casting straight over to where she was fishing because there's so many more fish down there. There might be a thousand fish, but I'm still not getting a bite. I think I'm going to switch to sweet corn as well, you know? The bread getting nibbled off every time is winding me up. Surely I'm going to catch on a piece of sweet corn down here. Yes. Oh, what are you? What are you? I think that's a goldfish on. Brown goldfish. Way. Way. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hooks out. Oh, oh. Okay. You saw it, right? Yeah. It counts. <laughs> it counts. Through the next 30 minutes or so, we both landed a bunch of brown goldfish. These are what goldfish look like after a few generations when left to breed in the wild. I also hooked a common carp, bringing our scores even. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought it was a red one. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh.
Common carp, brown goldfish. We've done them till the end of the end of the world. We ticked them off multiple times. It's the mirror carp and it's the orange goldfish that is proving a little bit tricky. It was approaching 30 degrees and even with the dappled shade, we needed a break. Do you remember how I used to be, how I wouldn't have suggested we stop and have lunch? I'd be like, no, like, we've got to get this shot, we've yeah. got to get that shot, and then I'd be all tired out and then... You changed to look. Learning to relax and take it slow from time to time is definitely a new, a new thing, but it's good mm -hmm. for the long term. As part of learning to slow down a little and enjoy life, I very much enjoyed taking young George fishing for the day. <laughs> Look at that. That oh. would just smack me in the arm. Sorry. <laughs> it's an awesome feeling to help others get into the hobby. Yeah. <laughs> We've had lunch, should we sit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Have you got? What oh, I've got it? one. I've got one. I, I was looking the other way. Oh, he's come off. Oh, I think I've got a cup. Hey, hey, cup. See, the commons don't seem to be that difficult to catch. I bet the one that just took my bread then was a mirror because I wasn't looking and it hey. suddenly just zoomed off. Bye. Oh, oh, Lord. What is this? Something big. Is it going to be a mirror? Oh, common. <sighs> uh oh, what is this? Oh, come on, please. Oh. <laughs> I bet that was a mirror as well. It would be so typical if it was. I bet the reason why there's so few orange ones compared to brown is because the heron eats all of the ah. orange ones. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. See, there's a bright orange one just there next to my bread. Don't you dare catch it. <gasps> no way! Oh, I did, I did. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, look at that. Bye. Well done. I'm going for the mirror by putting bread in the lily pads. And I guess you're going for an orange just by working your way through. Because it's, yeah. it's it, it looks like one in 20 mm -hmm. goldfish is orange. And we didn't see a big orange one. They, were, they looked pretty small, so yeah. I'm not sure. So small hook, yeah. float fishing. That's neat, that is. You might not have a, a bum bag or a waste pouch or whatever, but you've got a bread strap there. <laughs> My bread strap. Nice. Oh, Omi's, Omi's got the tactic. She's gonna, oh, I thought that was gonna be your red one then. I feel like the brown ones are really on it. They're definitely better at feeding. Oh, I've got to focus on my own fishing, but I'm just staring so at your, fun. I'm staring at your hook, thinking that you're going to have a red one any moment. Saying red goldfish is a bit of a contradiction, I suppose. Perhaps they should just be called redfish or not very often goldfish. Either way, Omi was struggling to pick one out and I just needed a mirror carp to complete the challenge. Oh, Omi, fair play. I watched that all happen. You, you deserve that. That's quite good. Ah, we got it. We got the half black, half gold one. The colours on that thing are so cool. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just means that it's a uh, mirror carp. Next mirror carp wins. Oh, that took ages. <laughs> I'm looking forward to barbecue tonight. Hey, barbecue with Alex. Yep. Alex and... Good old Alex barbecue. Oh, goodness me. You know, you know if Alex is cooking, it's going to be special. <laughs> Over the last couple of years, I've watched Alex develop his culinary skills, often using ingredients he's found or grown himself. Our dad is in charge of posting and packaging my merch, so we often combine a delicious Alex dinner with catching up on orders of my books, posters and clothing. No, I mean, generally speaking, it's it's cheaper to do this for me than go out and do gardening because I haven't got to um, wear myself out either. So it's a, good, it's a good retirement job. It's a very good retirement job. It's not weather dependent. I can do it when it's dark. It doesn't affect my hobby. 
and it pays spiffingly. It pays okay. The only thing with your filming here today hasn't been that authentic. It's not a normal day. And I normally have the radio on. <laughs> Oh shoot! Hey, it's more authentic than you thought. Yeah. Get those out. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. If you've placed an order on my store recently, then thank you so, so much. Your support has truly helped me, my dad, and our family as a whole. Back at the village pond, we just had mirror carp to catch. However, they were proving tricky. Oh, you got one. Ah. No. That was a miracle. Yeah. It was. That was a miracle. I saw it. I clearly oh. saw the scales on it. It's a baby. No way. Oh gosh, you would have beaten me there oh and then. Oh my god, there, there. You would have beaten me in that moment. That would have been. That was too close. A little bit embarrassing, to be honest. <laughs> These mirrors seem to be few and far between, but with the pads knocking and fish swirling underneath my bread, there was still a chance. Right, I'm gonna try around the other side. Can you get around there? Yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. Oh. Yeah? I, got, I got one. No! A mirror! Yes, <gasps> oh. You won the challenge. They do exist. Mirror yeah. carp do exist in this pond. Oh. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> it's the taking part that counts. Surprising how much fun you can actually have fishing on something which is basically like the muddy village pond. 